that water. Moving to some national news as climate crisis rages on. A Republican congressman has noticed Eris introduced legislation to take on the issue. He says America must unleash the innovation and ingenuity of the American people to get a grip on the issue. His Energy Sector Innovation Credit Act would encourage innovation for energy producers. The bill would offer a tax incentive for new energy technologies to increase the energy grid. The climate is changing, uh, and we need to do something about it. With raging wildfires, floods, and record heat, New York Republican Congressman Tom Reed says something must be done to combat the issue of climate change. How we're going to solve the issue of climate change is through innovation, and that means you unleash the innovation and ingenuity of the American people. That's exactly what Reed says his Energy Sector Innovation Credit Act will do, encourage more innovation and technologies into the market by offering a tax incentive for emerging technologies. You can have all the mandates in the world, which is the primary democratic approach, you know, setting protocols, setting standards, um, and just in those targets, if you don't have the technology to achieve them, they're paper tigers. I think the biggest threat contributing to the crisis is people not talking to each other. Danny Richter with the Citizens Climate Lobby says the legislation is a positive step, but both parties need to do more to solve the issue. We need to make this a bridge issue, not a wedge issue. The legislation shows some sign of bridging that divide with an equal number of Democrats and Republicans sponsoring the bill. This is a great example of the kind of uh, work that can be done when Democrats and Republicans do talk about to each other about this most important issue. Innovation is what's really going to solve climate change. The bill now waits for a hearing before the House Ways and Means Committee. Reporting in Washington, I'm Morgan Wright. Lawmakers and climate change advocates say there's an appetite on Capitol Hill to get something done on this issue, but some say the bill doesn't go far enough. Well, former U.S. Vice President.